Uh, the next topic of uh, study is equation of continuity. After the um, detailed description of the uh, mathematical operators, gradient divergence curve, and the idea of fields, scalar field and magnetic field, a vector field, then operation of these uh, gradient uh, divergence and uh, curl operator on the scalar field function and vector field function, their physical interpretation, uh, their mathematical formulation, and the importance application of these. Then after we have seen that how to convert uh, integral equation into the differential form using the Gauss divergence theorem and Stokes theorem. Now the next topic is the equation of continuity which states that the total current flowing out of some volume we have considered a cylinder for that uh, purpose in which I current is flowing J is the current density and S is the surface area of this wire. So it states that total current flowing out of some volume this is our volume total current flowing out from this uh, must be equal to the rate of decrease of the charge this current which is flowing out from this volume must be equal to the rate of decrease of the charge within that volume we know that neither charge being created nor destroyed so automatically this equation of continuity is defined the charge conservation theorem so since the current is defined as the rate of flow of the charges and the current through the conducting cylinder is I capital I is equal to minus dq upon dt because this is a solid cylinder so there will be volume charge density instead of this q so we have to use that formula instead of q q is equal to volume integral rho dv this is in terms of the volume charge density this is the rate of the volume charge density of this current so this is minus d upon dt volume charge density rho dv so this is the current inside the uh, that uh, basically flowing through the conductor cylinder this particular cylinder and now this current I is equal to closed surface integral J dot ds in terms of the S in terms of the current density so this J dot ds this is also current this is also current so both the current should be equal through the conducting cylinder I and this at this particular and in terms of the J so these two equations should be same so keeping these two equations same we are getting this result closed surface integral j dot ds is equal to minus d upon dt volume integral rho dp now what we have to do to simplify it we have to use Gauss divergence theorem and as a result this closed surface j dot ds converts into the divergence of j so the result of the left hand side is equal to the volume integral divergence of j dv now we have to put this value here so the uh, right hand side is minus d upon dt rho is constant throughout the volume so d rho upon dt like this one minus d rho upon dt dv now compare both the side can write in this way also volume integral divergence of j plus minus d upon d rho upon dt into the left hand side becomes positive so this is del rho upon del t dv is equal to zero as we have considered earlier that uh, volume of the cylinder could not be zero so this factor is equal to zero if this is equal to zero then divergence of j plus 
d rho upon dt is equal to 0 and from this when one can conclude this divergence of j is equal to minus d rho upon dt which automatically prove the first statement the first statement was the total current divergence of j indicate to the total current density the current basically which flowing from the surface outer surface is equal to the uh, rate of decrease of the charge density volume charge density uh, by decreasing because this negative sign is indicating d rho upon dt is the rate of the charge density basically that is current on the other hand and this negative sign is indicating that when you are taking the divergence of current density it is basically equal to the negative sign of d rho upon dt which is the rate of the volume charge density so our first statement was that the total current flowing out of some volume must be equal to the rate of decrease of the charge within that volume so it means d rho upon dt indicate that this is the factor by which uh, with, uh, by which charge is decreasing into the cylinder but uh, at this point we had not discussed about the type of the current what type of the current we are using here so if we include that uh, idea also into the derivation of continuity into this theorem is there uh, steady state current, direct current or alternating current what type of current basically we are using here so if we use direct current that is steady state current in that case d rho upon dt will be equal to 0 if this is equal to 0 that means divergence of j is equal to 0 if divergence of j is equal to 0 it means we know we have seen this uh, idea earlier also about the del dot E is equal to 0 that is solenoidal it means uh, total is equal to 0 it means if divergence if uh, we are considering here steady state curve that means divergence of J is equal to 0 it means the total current which enters at this particular end will be equal to the amount of the current which are coming from this end so the total jo current that will remain same so this is the basically law of the charge conservation theorem on the other hand equation of continuity equation is known as charge conservation theorem also so after this now let us check the uh, Ampere's formula uh, we have seen that divergence of J is equal to 0 for the steady state current A uniform current that is direct current steady state current D rho upon DT is equal to 0 So uniform flow, the amount of current which enter from one end is equal to the amount of current from the second end. So charge conservation, uniform flow of the current into the conductor in case of d rho, in case of the steady state current. But what about the result when alternating current is flowing? That time d rho upon dt is not equal to zero. But equation continuity equation indicate the charge conservation into that also. So now first, uh, you, we have to see the uh, Ampere's law that B dot DL is equal to mu naught times I because earlier we had not discussed about the current, uh, type of the current, this current is uh, uh, direct current, the steady state current or this current is alternating current. So the differential form of this Ampere's law is del dot b is equal to mu naught times j so if i take the divergence of this equation del 
डेल क्रोस बी डेल डॉट डेल क्रोस बी इज इक्वल टू म्यू नॉट इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट म्यू नॉट इज ए कॉन्स्टेंट सो डेल डॉट जी राइट लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दिस डेल डॉट डेल क्रोस बी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो डेल डॉट जे म्यू नॉट कुड नॉट बी जीरो सो इट मीन्स डेल डॉट जे इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस रिजल्ट वैन बी टेक द डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ द एम्पियर्स ला दिस वॉज द एम्पियर्स ला एंड राइट नाउ वी आर श्योर दैट वी आर यूजिंग स्टडी स्टेट करंट एंड टेकिंग द डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन so then uh, what we are getting we are getting divergence of j is equal to 0 and this result we have seen when through the continuity equation when uh, charge density is related to the state state uh, steady state current so it means that this law is valid only for the direct current so ampere's law is valid only for the डायरेक्ट करंट वट अबाउट दी अल्टरनेटिंग करंट इफ अल्टरनेटिंग इज करंट इज फ्लोइंग देन दैट एम्पियर सला इज नॉट वैलिड सो मैक्सफेल बेसिकली इम्प्रूव दी एम्पियर सला यूजिंग द आइडिया ऑफ डिसप्लेसमेंट करंट सो नाउर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विल बी ऑफ द डिसप्लेसमेंट करंट